Okay, back to this uh, man's immersion. One of the core uh, powers or the core mindsets that I discovered over the last years is the idea to anchor the dark masculine. So we have a, a challenge in today's world. It is that the darkness is being shamed. For the Western world, in most uh, situations and most mindsets, especially within religious circles, within Christianity, for instance, darkness is evil. The two of them are just one reality. <laughs> and in my experience, that's not the case at all. Um, you know, imagine that uh, light and darkness are just two polarities of life, and the two of them, uh, when they come together, this is what creates the resonance in your field. And the goal inside of me is not for my light to destroy my darkness or my darkness to destroy my light. Uh, uh, I am integrated, I'm really happy, I'm a loving being, and I have a darkness which is integrated. And the two of them, the two polarities, are making love with each other. So there, is, uh, there are aspects of our darkness. The, the, the darkness that is pure, that is untouched, darkness is by itself a pure source of energy. And uh, by itself, it's neither good or bad. It simply is, a little bit like air. Air is just there. It's just a source of energy. So now what happens is that when we transfer or when we um, channel darkness on, on this planet, sometimes darkness is being channeled in ways that are uh, shadow or immature uh, expressions. So for instance, immature expressions is using my dark power to destroy nature or to attack people or to uh, be greedy or to control my partner's lives, uh, my partner's life, or to uh, do things that are going to be abusive to other human beings. So uh, darkness by itself can be used for good or bad. So I make a very strong distinction between mature and immature darkness. You have immature shadows in the darkness that are really bad. Darkness can be used in ways that are really awful and horrible for the planet and mankind, horrible for the people around us, horrible for our families and our communities. And sometimes you will meet somebody who is embodying their darkness, their power and their maturity, and they are doing that for the well-being of the planet and mankind. So think about examples where you see somebody embodying their power and their darkness and the mature masculine energy, and they are having a really powerful, beautiful impact on this planet and mankind. So I'm pretty sure that you have some examples, right? So what this means is this, it is that darkness by itself is neither good or bad, a little bit like fire. Fire is neither good or bad. It depends on how we use it. We can use fire to cook a delicious meal, or we can use um, fire to burn down the house of our neighbor, right? It's the same energy, and it's the same when it comes to darkness. I can use my darkness to protect my family in moments of danger, or to engage into a survival adventure across uh, the mountains, right? This is going to be me engaging in my warrior energy and doing everything that I can to survive or to protect the people I love, or I can use darkness to abuse somebody and kill other human beings. And this is the same energy, is the same source of energy, but one of them is used for immature purposes and another one is used for mature purposes. So there is a very core, core clear distinction. Another clear distinction it is that shadows and darkness are two different things. In the Western world, most of the times, shadows, darkness, immature darkness, all that is overlapped in one reality, and we say, we are going to throw away the whole thing. Everything that has to do with that reality is evil. That's it. And uh, in my experience, what happens is that there is a struggle that starts inside when we have this mindset. We have this mindset because the battle between light and darkness is not going, is not going to end. Darkness will never be annihilated, and light will never be annihilated. The two of them are like two polarities of life, and they are there to stay. So rather than one quality fighting against the, uh, the, the other and making war to each other, like in the Star, Star Wars movies, right? That's not the reality that I live in. The reality that I live in is like, my light is making love with my darkness. The two of them are integrated inside of me, and both of them can be mature aspects. And yes, I might have inside of me aspects of my darkness that are unintegrated or immature, exactly in the same way as I have aspects of my light, vibrational light frequency, that might be immature. So take a moment just to think about that. Is there anything in the light in the expression of light, in the way you bring light on this planet, that might be immature, unintegrated, or shadow, right? 
Okay, so this is one of the core distinctions that I bring into my teachings. It is the idea of integrating your darkness rather than fighting with it. And as soon as we start opening the pathways and start opening the, 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 the perception of the darkness inside of us, then what we discover very fast is, is the distinction between what is mature and what is immature. And then when we discover something that is immature, then we go like, okay, how can I transmute, uh, dissolve, um, and uh, transform that specific aspect? How can I integrate it into my life? Okay, so this is a topic in which we can dive into, and when we dive into this within the context of Tantra, we receive very clear inner guidance. What I'm sharing right now with you is cons our concepts, but you will notice straight away that uh, when we start activating these energies and connecting with them, that it becomes a very intuitive pathway or a very intuitive experience where we start feeling <laughs> feeling the truth and feeling the, the, the vibration and feeling the pathways on how to integrate all that in our lives with clarity.